All right, sing with me. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone, as she wheeled her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Phew. Yes, I know. I definitely need to stick to history videos and leave the singing to the others. Hopefully I didn't make you physically ill. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts and recently we visited Dublin, Ireland, the home of the legendary Molly Malone. Millions of us with Celtic heritage have heard that famous song all our lives, but few of us know the story behind this interesting character. Is she symbolic? Was she a real person? We'll leave it for you to decide, and at the end of this video, leave us a comment of what your opinion is. And by the way, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click that bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. Most of our videos are from historic sites all over the United States, but we also have some in several countries, like this one. This video is one of several that we have from Ireland, so be sure to check out our Ireland playlist. Now back to Sweet Molly. We were at the Molly Malone statue in downtown Dublin. This statue was unveiled in 1988, the 1,000 year anniversary of Dublin, in honor of the song that is the unofficial anthem of Dublin. The statue sits in front of the old St. Andrew's Church, which is now used as the tourist information office. Some say that Molly Malone is a fictional character and a representative of a group of women in Dublin in the 1600s called fishwives. Fishwives were the wives or daughters of a fisherman. These women were said to be gruff, unpolished, and foul-mouthed. I think you're getting the picture, and perhaps you are thinking of some women that you know today that fit that same description. Molly was a hawker or a monger which was someone who sold things from a cart on the streets. Hawkers and mongers at the time were often known to work a different trade on the streets at night. But our Molly is said to be one of the few that maintained her chastity and dignity. The legend says that Molly sadly died of a fever at a young age. While some maintain that Molly Malone is a symbolic character, others say that she was a real person. In fact, in the Dublin records, there is found a woman named Molly Malone who died June 13, 1699. There is no evidence that this particular Molly Malone is the one who the song was written for, but in 1988, the year of the thousandth anniversary of Dublin, June 13 was declared as Molly Malone Day. The holiday has been celebrated in Dublin each June 13 since. Perhaps maybe you will now celebrate Molly Malone Day too. The statue of Molly Malone is quite detailed, and on her cart she has fish to sell, as well as cockles and mussels, which if you aren't familiar with what those are, those are similar to a clam and common to the shorelines of Ireland. The other thing that certainly doesn't go unnoticed about the statue is her busty appearance. This look was common for a young woman of her time and public breastfeeding wasn't seen as taboo. Young women of the time were often constantly pregnant or with a young child, so the appearance of the statue is actually quite period accurate. However, the way she looks has earned her the nickname for some, the tart with the cart, or the trollop with the scallops. Once again, I will defend her and state that our Molly is an honorable woman. You may also notice that her breasts are quite shiny. The legend is that it is good luck to rub her left breast. Or is it her right breast? Most folks just make sure to rub both to be safe. Also, the area is a popular gathering spot for buskers, or street musicians. The popular song that so many of us are familiar with has had many different versions and variations over the years, and no one is certain its true origin. The fact is, though, that it really doesn't matter. It's a fun song that many of us associate with our Irish heritage, and are eager to sing along no matter where we hear it. 
So now you know a little history of the lady from the song. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm curious what your thoughts are of Molly. Is she a real person or not? Be sure to leave us a comment below of your thoughts. In closing, I'd like to lead us in another verse of the famous song. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive. Just kidding. I won't put you through that again. But make sure you look up the version by the Dubliners. Sinead O'Connor. Or you too. They can do a much better job, and I'll stick to what I do best. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.